the fox and the crow. The fox and the crow. I bet you can't guess what I like to eat best of all. Yes, I knew that you would say that foxes like to eat hens best and stolen ones at that, and I don't mind admitting that I wouldn't ever say no to a nice fat chicken once in a while. But not many people know that what foxes appreciate even more than chicken is a nice bit of cheese once in a while. It was a fine, bright morning, and I was following my sharp nose through the woods in search of a bite to eat. When I caught a cheesy smell on the breeze, I looked up into the tree. And there, on the branch, I saw Miss Crow looking terribly pleased with herself, for in her beak she held a large piece of cheese. It was stolen, no doubt. And so I called on my neighbour and said, "Good morning, Miss Crow. You are looking very lovely today, if I may say so." And Miss Crow cocked her head on one side and looked at me with her beady little eye. My heart is smitten by this wonderful bird. If only I could hear her voice. I am sure that such a charming creature must sing most sweetly. If I could hear but one line of her song, I would hail her as the princess of the forest. And now I could see my words had hit home, swelling with pride. Miss Crow puffed up her feathers and began to sing the most lovely music I had ever heard. <coughs> well, all right. I know that you are saying that Miss Crow's voice is not exactly star quality, but to me that. Caw! Was just the sound that I'd been waiting for, because as soon as she opened her beak, the cheese fell to the ground, and I snapped up my breakfast, which only goes to show that flattery will get you everywhere. And that was the story of the fox and the crow. <laughs>